let's talk about some of the lessons that you learned from GPT-4. And GPT-5 is one of the first models we have that marries both the pre-training paradigm and the reasoning paradigm together. We do believe that this technology is going to raise the quality of life for most people. Mark, thanks for joining me today. Good to see you again. Great to see you, Matt. So I, I want to start with a broad question, which is there's a, a lot of excitement leading into GPT-5. I'm wondering like what the energy is like internally at OpenAI in the months and then more recently weeks leading up to such a big launch, such an important model. What is that energy like? What is it like inside of the company? Every single launch, you know, it comes with high emotion, right? And you know, you have that that feeling when you're standing out to do a project where people are excited. And then, you know, you have a period in the middle where uh, there's always this kind of internal uncertainty, right? Is this model going to be good? Is it going to kind of hit the expectations? And then kind of really seeing kind of near the home stretch, everything come together, uh, the energy picks back up. And I would say right now, the feelings are, are very strong. People are excited to get this model out. And um, yeah, we're excited to show it to the world. Yeah, I, I've tested it and it is absolutely incredible. Um, and I'm, I'm really just starting to figure out where kind of it really excels, where it's personality and the tone and, and everything are. So, um, but uh, I visited you guys a few weeks ago and um, Greg Brockman had mentioned that OpenAI still sees itself as a research lab and you are head of research. So, um, like, how, how do you personally balance that? kind of tension between the product side of the organization and the research side of the organization.